After Russian T-90 and Israeli Merkava tanks, the Western Command of the Indian Army has also equipped its T-90S main battle tanks with cope cages on top, that will provide protection against loitering munitions. As per new regulations, no person can fly a powered hang glider without being authorized by a DGCA approved instructor, and these gliders cannot be disposed in any way, or sold to any person or firm without production of a certificate issued by the DGCA. The new president of Maldives will take office on the 17th of November, and he has said that removal of Indian troops will be addressed from day one of his presidency, and it will be done within the first week. French firm Thales has announced that it will establish a maintenance repair and overhaul center in New Delhi by end of 2024. The 21st edition of India-France military subcommittee meeting was held in New Delhi, which is a forum that boosts defense cooperation between both nations through regular talks at strategic and operational levels. The design issue in the Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter has been fixed, and new control rods for 120 helicopters have already been dispatched to different squadrons, and the remaining helicopters will get these rods by end of November. Pakistan Army has claimed to have successfully tested its 2,500 km Ranger Babel nuclear-capable ballistic missile from Diragazi Khan, however, Missile debris including tail assembly was found just 183 kilometers from launch site, pointing towards a failed test. The Indian Air Force has carried out a successful test of BrahMos air-launched supersonic cruise missile from a Su-30 fighter jet in the Bay of Bengal. The aircraft took off with the BrahMos missile from an airbase in the southern peninsula, and traveled over 1,500 kilometers to successfully strike a target from a longer range than before, and media reports indicate that the ongoing test seems to extend its range from existing 450 kilometers to 600 kilometers. Hal Chief has said, that HAL will set up a new engine complex for producing the F-414 engines, as existing capacities are insufficient for the program. He also said, that while meeting the Indian requirements, General Electric and HAL could later use the facility to export F-414 engines to other nations, as the F-414 has a higher appeal in the global defense market. The DRDO is developing a hypersonic glide vehicle under Project Nwani, that will be based on the Wave Rider configuration. The scramjet engine being developed for the program has already achieved a speed of Mach 6 for a duration of 23 seconds. The DRDO is also developing a guidance system, a thermal protection system, and a control system that will allow it to maneuver during flight. The DRDO expects to complete the development of Mach 10 capable 3000 km range hypersonic glide vehicle by 2026, that will be able to carry a conventional or nuclear warhead. While discussions are underway to have some improvements on the additional 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, defense analysts have called for a new Tejas MK-1B variant, with features like an infrared search and track system, a gallium nitride based ACER radar, integration of stealth technology and electronic warfare capabilities for modern warfare scenarios. Defense officials have said that the deal for 31 MQ-9B drones with the US will be concluded by February 2024, and deliveries will begin from February 2027. General Atomics will also establish a global maintenance repair and overhaul facility in India, and the location is likely to be in Bangalore. The Indian Army has strategically deployed 140 artificial intelligence-enabled surveillance systems along its borders with Pakistan and China, under which feed from high-resolution cameras sensors unmanned aerial vehicles and radars will be processed through artificial intelligence algorithms for detecting intrusions along the borders and classifying potential threats. Today's Top 3 Comments